special day. Today is Rare Disease Day across the world, and I am in remission, just like all these other speakers here. We're in remission from these rare diseases, and we're here to talk about them. I'm a sophomore at West Dallas Central High School. Yeah. I was born September 14th, 1998. In my first eight weeks of life, I had 13 visits to either the doctor, urgent care, or an emergency room. This included a three-day stay at a hospital because of an uncontrollable fever of 104 degrees. During those first eight weeks, I had several spinal taps, ultrasounds, CT scans, MRIs, bone marrow biopsies, a liver biopsy, and way, way, way too many blood tests to count. At one point, my veins were so hard to find that I had to put, have an IV put into the vein in my head. The doctors at Children's Hospital were baffled until one oncologist remembered that a colleague of hers from the University of Minnesota Hospital was doing research into a rare blood disease. She contacted him in his home country, the Netherlands. She sent him all of my test results, and after a conference call, they came to my diagnosis. I was then diagnosed with multi-system Langerhans cell histiocytosis, also referred to as LCH, which is way easier to say. The diagnosis was scary for my parents. However, it came just in time as my liver had swollen to the size of a football. And the only way to hold me was if I was lying on a pillow with no one touching me. I had a central venous line put in my chest for the medication and started chemotherapy at nine weeks old. If it wasn't for that oncologist, I may not be here today. Langerhans cells are a type of white blood cell that normally help the body fight infection. In LCH, too many Langerhans cells are produced and build up in certain parts of the body where they can form tumors or damage organs. <clears throat> Multi-system means that several organ systems are affected by LCH. My skin, liver, ears, bone marrow, and spleen were all affected by LCH. My odds of surviving were not good because I was under the age of two and had multi-system organ involvement. Doctors don't know what causes histiocytosis and there is no cure. Because it occurs so infrequently, it's striking just five in one million children. Five in one million children is all it strikes ever in a year. Few pediatricians ever encounter a patient with this disease. That means diagnosis is often delayed until the case is far more serious and requires heavier doses of chemotherapy, radiation, and other types of treatment. Histiocytosis is considered an orphan or rare disease, meaning that it affects too few people to warrant federal funding for research. Without funding, doctor, doctors have very few options on treating rare diseases like histiocytosis. Before me, Children's Hospital hasn't seen histiocytosis in 14 years. I have been in remission now for several years. I do have some long-term after effects from LCH and the chemotherapy. Recently, I was diagnosed with juvenile arthritis. But overall, I'm doing very, very well. <laughs> Due to all the unknowns about LCH, like how long I will be in remission, or if I will get acute leukemia, I will be seen by my oncologist in the long-term follow-up care clinic, and will need to do this for the rest of my life until we commit great strides in research. I don't much like those odds and I have met other kids who feel the same way. What I do now is I work hard to give back to make it better for the next kid, and the next kid, and the kid after that. This is what I do for Children's Hospital. I save soda pop tops and take them to the hot unit. They recycle them and use the money to fund cancer camps in the summer. This is different than taking them to Ronald McDonald's house. As you can tell, I'm a children's champion. They send me to different events and talk about the care I receive while living on the hot unit, HOT unit stands for Hematology, Oncology, and Transplant Unit. I was there all those months at the beginning of treatment. The staff on the HOT unit de deal with life and death ch children every day, and they do it with the utmost care. As a patient, I received the best care possible. They also treated my parents and my older brother with just as much care. I was just a baby at a time and too sick to leave my room, so I couldn't do the special activities that they had for us, but my brother did. He got a tour of the Flight for Life helicopter. He got to go down to the parking lot with other patients and siblings to see the Hershey Mobile. He made friends in the unit, too. He made friends with one of the other siblings on the unit and somehow talked her into pulling him around in a wagon. He was three and she was five. Go figure. <laughs>
Also, Milwaukee has a long-standing tradition of hundreds of people heading downtown to Bradford Beach on January 1st. Then, at noon, a loud bell is rung and everyone runs into Lake Michigan. Crazy, I know. I decided that I would do it because it sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds crazy. It sounds great. I also decided that I would do it and raise money for histiocytosis at the same time. Few people thought it was crazy. I thought it was crazy, but I did it anyway. <laughs> but it was all worth it. It will all be worth it if I can help in finding a cure so that no other child has to go through what myself and others have. Even though I have only been a patient of the hot unit and clinic, I can't imagine that the other units are any different. Every child that comes through the doors is treated as if they're the only one that matters. We are very lucky to have such a great hospital right here in our backyard. Thank you all for what you are doing to support such a great place. Now, as you can see, I came here with some of my friends. We're from the West Dallas Central Jazz Band. We're going to play a couple songs for you, but first we need a moment to tune and get set up, then we'll start playing as soon as we possibly can.